Ever wondered what mysteries lie beneath the ocean's surface? Today, we dive into a world that remains largely unexplored, the deep sea. This mysterious realm, home to extraordinary creatures and hidden wonders, has long intrigued explorers and researchers alike. Our journey into the deep began in earnest during the late 19th century, with the first significant deep sea expedition, the Challenger Expedition. This groundbreaking voyage laid the foundation for modern oceanography, revealing for the first time the incredible biodiversity of the deep. In the early 20th century, the invention of the bathysphere, a spherical deep-sea submersible, allowed us to venture further into the abyss. This marked a new era of deep-sea exploration, opening our eyes to life forms and environments far beyond our wildest imaginations. Fast forward to the 21st century, and the advent of remotely operated vehicles and autonomous underwater vehicles has revolutionized our ability to probe the ocean's depths. These technological marvels allow us to reach depths previously considered inaccessible, unveiling a world teeming with life and wonder. But exploring the deep sea is not without its challenges. The extreme pressure, the frigid temperatures, and the perpetual darkness make the deep sea a harsh and unforgiving environment. These conditions pose significant obstacles to researchers, making every expedition a test of endurance and technological prowess. Despite these challenges, our thirst for knowledge propels us deeper. Each dive reveals new species, uncovers unique ecosystems, and deepens our understanding of life's extraordinary ability to adapt and thrive in the harshest of environments. The deep sea, a world of mystery and marvel, continues to captivate us. Our understanding of this enigmatic realm is just the tip of the iceberg, and there is so much more waiting to be discovered. As we delve deeper, we enter a world of perpetual darkness, the Abyssal Zone. Welcome to the Abyssal Zone, a realm of darkness and extreme pressure. This is a world where sunlight cannot penetrate, a world that is constantly chilled with temperatures barely above freezing. Imagine a place where the pressure is so immense that it's like having an elephant standing on your little toe. That's the Abyssal Zone for you, a place that's home to some of the most fascinating creatures on our planet. In this seemingly inhospitable environment, life not only survives, it thrives. How? Well, the creatures of the Abyss have evolved some remarkable adaptations to deal with the harsh conditions. Let's delve into the adaptations that allow these creatures to survive and thrive in the Abyssal Zone. First, let's talk about the pressure. In the Abyssal Zone, the pressure can reach over a thousand times that of sea level. To withstand this, many abyssal creatures have bodies that are soft and flexible without hard or rigid structures that could be crushed. They are literally built to withstand the weight of the world's oceans. Next, we turn to the issue of darkness. In the abyssal zone, it's pitch black. So how do creatures navigate and find food in such conditions? Some have developed incredibly sensitive eyes and other sensory organs to detect the slightest movements or changes in their environment. Others have evolved to produce their own light through a process known as bioluminescence, which they use to attract prey or communicate with potential mates. And what about food? In the abyssal zone, food can be scarce. Many abyssal creatures have slow metabolisms to conserve energy and can survive long periods without eating. Some have large mouths and expandable stomachs, allowing them to eat whatever they come across, no matter the size. In this world of darkness, some creatures have found a way to create their own light. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the resilience and ingenuity of life in the abyssal zone, reminding us that life, in all its forms, finds a way to adapt and thrive, even in the most extreme environments. Imagine a world where organisms glow in the dark. Welcome to the magical world of bioluminescent creatures. In the dark depths of the ocean, a mesmerizing light show takes place. It's a spectacle created by organisms that have the fascinating ability to produce their own light, a phenomenon known as bioluminescence. This ethereal glow is not just for show. It serves a variety of critical functions, helping these creatures survive and thrive in the harshest of environments. Bioluminescence is a form of chemiluminescence, where light energy is produced by a chemical reaction. This reaction typically involves a light-emitting molecule called luciferin and an enzyme known as luciferase. When these two substances interact, they emit a glow that can range from ghostly blue to fiery red. But what purpose does this radiant display serve? Well, it's all about survival. In a world where sunlight is a distant memory, bioluminescence provides a means of communication, a way to attract prey, and a mechanism for evading predators. Communication in the deep sea is a challenge. 
With no light to signal with and vast distances to cover, creatures have evolved to use bioluminescence as a language of light. They flash and flicker, sending complex messages to their kin. A pulsating glow could signal a call for a mate, while a rapid flash might warn others of approaching danger. When it comes to attracting prey, bioluminescence acts as a deceptive lure. Some deep-sea predators, like the anglerfish, use a glowing appendage to draw in unsuspecting meals. It's a clever trick, and it works exceptionally well in the lightless abyss. And then there's the art of evasion. Some creatures use their light to confuse or deter predators. Squid and octopuses, for example, release clouds of bioluminescent ink, creating a dazzling diversion that allows them to escape unharmed. Now that we've seen how some creatures make their own light, let's meet some of the bizarre inhabitants of the deep sea. In the deep sea, you'll encounter creatures that seem straight out of a science fiction movie. Among the most peculiar is the anglerfish, with a mouth full of razor-sharp teeth and a unique fishing rod-like appendage that dangles a bioluminescent lure to attract prey. The anglerfish is a sight to behold. Its adaptation to the deep sea environment is truly remarkable. The anglerfish's large mouth and expandable stomach allow it to devour prey twice its size, a handy trick when food is scarce in the deep sea. Then there's the vampire squid, a creature as eerie as its name suggests. Despite its ominous title, it doesn't feast on blood. Instead, it dines on marine snow, a delightful mix of dead organic material that falls from the upper layers of the ocean. The vampire squid's unique adaptation is its ability to live in the oxygen minimum zone, a layer of the ocean where oxygen levels are extremely low. It has the largest oxygen-carrying proteins in its blood of any known cephalopod, allowing it to survive in this harsh environment. Now, let's turn our attention to the gulper eel, another deep-sea dweller with a distinctive adaptation. This creature can open its massive mouth wide enough to swallow an animal much larger than itself. Its jaws hinge at the base of its body, creating a pouch-like lower jaw that inflates like a balloon. This adaptation is a brilliant evolutionary strategy for survival in the deep sea, where food can be few and far between. You'll find that nature's creativity knows no bounds in the deep sea, with creatures like the barrel eye fish, whose transparent head allows it to look upwards through its skull, or the Dumbo octopus, named for its ear-like fins. These strange and wonderful creatures highlight the importance of deep-sea ecosystems. Each species with its unique adaptations contributes to the delicate balance of life in the abyss, reminding us of the value of these often overlooked environments. The deep sea is more than just a home to a variety of creatures, it plays a vital role in our planet's health. Picture this, a vast dark expanse stretching as far as the eye can see, filled with life forms that are both alien and familiar. This is the deep sea, a world that is crucial to our planet's well-being. Its ecological significance cannot be overstated. The deep sea plays an essential role in carbon sequestration, where it acts as a natural sink, absorbing and storing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This process helps in mitigating the effects of climate change by reducing the amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. The deep sea also plays a critical role in nutrient cycling. Substances vital for life such as nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur are cycled through the ocean, including its deepest parts, to be used by marine life. These nutrients are then upcycled through the food chain, eventually reaching our plates. But the deep sea isn't just ecologically important. It's a treasure trove of potential scientific and medical breakthroughs. Many deep sea organisms have evolved unique biochemical adaptations to survive in such extreme conditions. These adaptations could lead to advancements in medicine, from new antibiotics to novel cancer treatments. For instance, deep sea sponges have shown promise in the development of new drugs. Their unique chemical compounds have been found to have potent anti-cancer and antiviral properties. Similarly, deep sea bacteria, adapted to thrive in high pressure, low temperature environments, are a potential source of enzymes for use in industrial processes. The deep sea, therefore, is not just a realm of mystery and wonder, but a vital part of our planet's ecological machinery and a potential goldmine for scientific discovery. Its exploration could lead to not only a better understanding of our world, but also to tangible benefits for humanity. As we resurface from the deep, remember, a world of wonders awaits beneath the waves, begging to be explored.